I never felt that it was a joke. I, I and I just was thrilled to be nominated. I can tell you, winning is better. <laughs> much better but I was really truly thrilled to be nominated all my nominations are framed and and hung in a place of honor um, for some reason I remember that after the ninth time I didn't win that I that seemed to be a turning point for me I remember thinking you know don't get your hopes up but I'm a very hopeful person by nature so that was hard uh, but I didn't write any speeches really after that you know I didn't write anything down or think about a speech really. And um, then I did uh, a commercial for a sugar substitute um, called Sweet One, I think it was called. And they had me, um, they had me, gosh, slap this poor extra silly. And I said, well, I didn't think they really wanted me to slap him. But Erica slapped a lot of people, but I never really slapped them. And um, they said, no, no, you have to really slap him. I said, does he know that? And they said, yes, he's fine with it. So I slapped him. And, um, you know, we did this Sweet One commercial. And it was about not winning the Emmy. And somehow at that point, I had, not it was like two years later. And so it was my 11th time. And I ad-libbed during the rehearsal. I said, what does a person have to do around here to get an Emmy? And they loved it. So they said, would you please keep that? So that's how that commercial ended with, what does a person have to do around here to get an Emmy? And they asked me right then, would I do two more? Would I do like I lost the 12th year and the 13th year? <laughs> Just in case. So I said, sure. And 13 has always been my lucky number. So I thought, maybe it's a sign. Maybe, OK, I'll wait two years. Maybe it'll be the 13th time. If they had told me it was going to be the 19th time, I, that would have been really hard to wait. But anyway, that's what it was. It turned out to be. Why do you think it took so long? I have no idea. But a lot of wonderful things happened out of it. First of all, I, I mean, I knew that I cared. Nobody at All My Children talked about the Emmys at all from one end of the year to the next. It was never anybody's focal point. But every year when it would come time for the nominations, then everybody would get excited. We would all get whipped into a frenzy, and you have to pick reels, and they were always different every year, and we, we would do that. Um, so I knew I cared, and our show cared about our own nominations. But when the press started to care, and the fans were aware of it, that floored me. I was so touched, so surprised. Oh, that was just amazing to me, you know, that, that they did. And some things came out of it, you know, such as, you know, the little girls giving me their ballet trophies, and I, I gave them back to the men, too, and, you know, the, the man who won the Oscar. But also just, you know, people being so incredible. One summer day, during that time where I wasn't winning, uh, Shelley Winters showed up, unannounced, at the hair and makeup room. And, and she said to me, I'm just here. I have a note with me from the actor's studio. I'm here representing the actors at the actor's studio who all are so upset that you haven't won the Emmy. And we just want you to know that we think you should have won the Emmy by now. And I was so flattered by that, touched by that, honored by that. Um, they all, you know, were, were trained the similar way I was. And I thought, wow. Um, I met Marvin Hamlish the first time uh, during a, a benefit concert he was doing in, for the Sag Harbor Theater. And uh, I was there in the audience. And he was spectacular there. I know words to say the genius he was. But his wife came down to me, and, he, and she said, would you like to meet Marvin after the show? And I said, of, of course, but I, I don't want to disturb him. He's just been performing. She said, no, he'd really like to meet you. He loves your work. And I met Marvin in his dressing room afterward. And, and that began a friendship that was incredible. But he said to me at the time, he said, don't ever think for a minute that you didn't win because you are a bad actress. He said, you are spectacular. And I want you to know that I think so and believe in your talent. He was just wonderful. Um, Sammy Davis Jr. So many wonderful things happened throughout that time that I wasn't winning from so many diverse places, people in the business, people not in the business.